Alrighty guys, just spooked a fish right in front of me, but walked back down, got my dry fly rod, and this spot up here was having uh, quite a few fish feeding quite aggressively. There's a riser literally right there. And I don't know where he went. There he is. Those bank feeders are not easy. So I will pick and choose my battles accordingly. There was a rise just right over there. So I think what I'm gonna do is uh, hop in, start making a couple casts. It's gonna be difficult with all these willows behind me. Um, but we will figure that out as we go. I believe I have a 13 foot dry fly leader to a single blueing olive dry. They are going aggressive on top. Got my dry shake on there. There we go. Ooh, big, good rainbow. Taking flight. Our 6X tip it on now. So we gotta fight this fish a little bit more gently. That being said, he's not being too difficult. It's just hard for me to get down the bank at this point. Man, he is a jumper. Ooh, there we go. That is my first dry fly eater of the year. Alrighty. It's a good, healthy rainbow. I'm getting back. Oh, just had a refusal right there. Let's see if I can't fool him on this one. Oh, that was a neat. That was a neat too. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna catch this big boy again though. I hooked him once before. The only problem is those little fish are gonna potentially ruin my drift. Big one has his head down, probably because I blew it. There's one. Just another little tiny guy. That's all right. A fish is a fish. Whew. So rainbow's hot. Rainbow. Alrighty, so I, uh, as you can tell, my battery died during that, but uh, my batteries are pretty much shot because of this cold weather. So I haven't been able to get much of the action going on, but there are fish rising like crazy and they are eating blueing olives. So um, I pulled out another one of my batteries, see if it had any life in it. And it just so happened to have not 1%, but 27%. So that's, uh, that's good, it's already at 25 now. Um, but that being said, I'm going to try and catch a little bit more of this action on the GoPro because I have been hammering fish on top. I mean, that has been, it has been silly. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think this might be one of the highest number days as far as 
dry fly goes for me. Um, I may have had a few other days, but this is, granted, it's my first one. Oh, and there's one right there. <laughs> Let's go. Woo! And it's a good one. Yeah, look at that. Going to Airborne. This has been one heck of a day. And, you know, this is my, like I said, my, <laughs> caught my first fish on the dry fly of 2023. And, uh, yeah, I've quickly caught quite a few more. I don't, I don't even know how many I've caught, but uh, it has been good. I've missed a ton of eats. Um, and yeah, this is why I wanted to turn the GoPro on because it has just been silly. Yeah, we haven't even been on for two minutes and I already got this one. So this is a, he's a hot fish. So it's probably gonna take a little bit to get him landed on this 6X, but Boy, this has been fun. There we go. My guides are so icy. I don't even know what the temperature is out, but it's cold. Nice fish. Oh, just missed one there. That battery is dying. Holy cow. All right, let's get one more. Come on, fish. Oh, man. That was one heck of a neat. I don't know how I missed him. Oh, and he's missed it twice now. <laughs> Same fish. He's going to get it this time, though. Third time's a charm. Nope, didn't need it that time. That's all right. There we go. Another good fish. Nothing super big, um, but it's a good one. I'll take it. Get them turned upstream at least a little bit. Brown trout are notorious for gator rolls. So if you're fishing multiple flies, they'll often get tangled up and make things even harder. But right now I just have the one fly on. So he's just wrapping around my leader and then he, I feel him pop free. Alrighty. And here he comes, all tangled up. Man, that is a stout fish, holy cow. Another great South Platte brown. Super healthy. It's a good fish. Whoa. There's one more look of her. GoPro doesn't do you justice. That's a healthy, thick fish. And she is swimming. Awesome. Whew. Hands are cold, but man, this dry fly fishing is unreal. And I wish I knew the name of this fly because it is awesome. It's sort of like a compare done, but it, maybe it's a visit done. I don't know. I don't think it's a visit done, <laughs> but it's just got this, it's got hackle, 
wrapped around the body and then it's got some post material as well and uh it is even i think this one's a 22 which is smaller than most of the mayflies have been hatching um, but even then it is incredibly easy to visualize just because of that post material but the post material isn't sitting anywhere you know on the sides so it's really just visible to me as far as that white post goes there's another this one's just a this one's a smaller one just a rainbow well it's not that small but i certainly caught a couple smaller ones during this hatch <laughs> surprisingly this thing just came in real quick There we go. Show that fish off real quick. Back it goes. Yep. Got him. Woo! Rainbow's going airborne. Oh, ice and guide stopping my. There we go. My leader's so long, I have to bring it into my guides. Sometimes the ice kind of blocks it. Ooh, ooh. Hot fish. Funky rainbow. There we go. Got him. And he's off to eat another bluing. Ooh, I just noticed a big, big head right up above me. There's another. <laughs> what was that, two casts later? Holy cow. There's a fox running across the road. I don't, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a fox. <laughs> That's so cool. All right, let's land this brown and catch a couple more. Holy cow. This fishing is on fire. Come on, big girl. Yeah, look at that fish. Nice. That's a good one. The coloration on that one, really red. Nice. Oop. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is silly. Oh, what happened here? 
somehow I, he missed it with his mouth and I got him I think in the belly it looks like. It even happens dry fly fishing, folks. It's all right. We're gonna get the fly out quick and easy and get him back in the water. Ready. And he's back in the water. And the amount of heads, I don't know if you guys can see it on the GoPro, but the amount of heads popping around eating dries is insane all right where is the nearest head i might just take a walk up and cast at these bigger ones just a little to the right of him all right here we go He's gonna eat it right there. Right there. Yep. Oh. I blew it. It's all right. He'll come and get it again. I didn't sting him. Oh, but I caught this little one. Dang it. <laughs> it's funny, the fishing's so good that I'm complaining about catching fish. <laughs> but I did, however, want to catch his neighbor that was much bigger it's all right we'll take it we, we caught a fish on a dry we'll take it